Hi, it's Liz Needham. Let's have a look at making a scatter graph. So we have two axes, our x and our y axis. Both of them must be numeric variables. So we've got to have numbers on both axes. We are looking for a relationship between the points. Um, for example, like height and weight, I wonder if there's a relationship between them. And we draw the coordinate points. So let's have a look at an example of how to do that. So if we take our wall sit time and we also add our age, so I have chosen two numeric variables, age and wall sit time, and now let's draw a scatter graph of that. So here are just those two variables. First of all, I need my two axes. So I'm going to put age along my horizontal axis and I notice that the ages go, I've got 16, 17 and 18 years old. So that's what I'm going to put across this axis. Now on the y axis or the vertical axis, I'm going to put my wall sit time and notice our biggest wall sit time is 640. So I'm going to go up in steps of 100. So there's my graph set up. Now I need to actually put the coordinate points on. So let's take the first data value. So this is a person who has an age of 17 and a wall sit time of 114 seconds. So I go across and I've got my age and my wall sit time and I look where those two points meet and I put myself a, a dot there. So that's my first coordinate point. Now let's add the next one. So our next coordinate point is age 18 and 640 minutes. Oh, it should be seconds actually, not minutes. So that's going to give us 18 and 640. Put a point where they meet and there's my coordinate. Let's try the third one. 16 and 352. So that's going to go age 16 up 352 and there's our coordinate. Similarly for 18 and 238. And lastly, 17,421. So that there now is the scatter graph of that particular set of data. I just need to add a title at the top of my graph, and I'm finished. Thanks for watching.